The post-traumatic migraine trajectory is, is actually fairly common following a sports concussion. We've published extensive research showing that patients who experience migraine-related symptoms after concussion actually take the longest to recover. Um, that trajectory is, is, is usually associated with symptoms uh, such as headache, light sensitivity, noise sensitivity, nausea, and sometimes dizziness. With neurocognitive testing, we actually find that there's deficits with memory rather than processing speed and reaction time on, on the neurocognitive testing that we do. Um, in terms of treatment, um, we actually believe strongly in behavioral management, uh, making sure the patient is regulated with their sleep, their exercise, their hydration, their diet, and making sure their stress levels are down. Uh, in some patients with migraine, there may, there may be a vestibular component to the migraine as well. In those patients, we need to treat the vestibular dysfunction first and then treat the migraine. In patients without vestibular dysfunction for, with migraine, we can actually get them very active and get them moving, which I think is very helpful for, the, for recovery.